All right guys, so we've done division with decimals, but now we're gonna do it where it's not just a decimal on the inside of the problem, but also on the outside. So we'll have a decimal in our divisor. So before I even start, I'm actually gonna make a change to these numbers without even doing division yet. So I'm gonna look at my divisor. Right now, if I move my decimal one spot to the right, it would move the decimal and make this number five. Well, if I move this one one spot, then I can only move this decimal one spot to the right as well. So that would make this 12 and 5 tenths. So only one move here equals only one move here. You don't just want to move it all the way to the end. Whatever I do with my divisor, that's what I do over here. Now I can go ahead and try this problem. So 12 and 5 tenths. Divided by 5. I know 5 can't go into 1, but let me bring my decimal up first before I keep going. 5 can go into 12, and it can go into 12 two times. That'll get me 10. I subtract it, I get 2. Bring down my 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Subtract 0. So here's my actual answer. Just by moving the decimals, I can do the division easily like we did before. Um, and get the correct answer. So let me show you one more to show how this also can work. So I'm going to use a pretty similar problem. You're going to see a lot of the same digits. So 1 in 25 hundredths, like up here, but this time we're going to divide it by 5 hundredths instead of 5 tenths. So I'm going to get my red pen. I'm going to take my decimal, and I want to get it all the way to the end of this one. So jump one, jump two. So two jumps gives me a new decimal. So now this would be five. And now let me do that again, okay? Now I can jump this one two times. One, two. So this would be 125. So based on where this one's decimal is, is what's really gonna change the numbers you get. So now I can do 125, divide by five, Again, 5 times 2 is 10, subtract, I get 2, I have 25, and I bring my 5 down. 5 times 5 is 25, subtract them, I get 0. So this one's answer is 25. So there is a big difference between these. I got a lot of the same digits going on here, but what's really different is the place values. So here, we would say that this looks like, say if this was money, this would be $2.50. Well here, if this was money, it'd be $25 and no cents. So there's a huge difference and that is why decimals matter.